Hello, I'm Renaud from Momentance and welcome to this new Kogi Engine tutorial. Today I'm going to show you one of the new cool features of version 4.2, which is gravity. So far in the Kogi Engine you were only able to control the strength of the gravity, having like a lower moon-like gravity or maybe even a reverse gravity, positive one, which would uh, have your character float in the air. With 4.2 um, you can now define a new gravity direction for your characters and you can set it per character um, or per zone or per point as we're gonna see in this features gravity demo. Uh, this is a level that is um, included in the Kogi engine and it's located in the minimal demo folder and as you can see here I have my main guy here the, the white one and I have duplicated it changed its color and um, put them in small boxes that mirror the initial box I mean. What I've changed on these colored characters is their gravity direction. So this guy is at a 27 degree angle, these guys are minus and plus 45 degree, uh, 180 and 90. And this one I should have put minus 90, but it's okay. Let's just do that right now. Um, here I have a new character gravity script component and I can just change it to minus 90 and if I press play again you'll see that he's now working on a different wall because uh, his gravity is now in this direction. All the um, character abilities that used to work still do, like you can still jetpack, you can um, jump, you can dash, you can crouch, you can wall cling, as you can see wall jump, everything just just works uh, out of the box. So um, what next? We have also gravity zones because as you can see these guys they have a, an initial gravity that will be their, their default gravity all their life until uh, you change it by code but um, that's something you want to put like at a level scale or maybe for an enemy that crawls on, on the ceiling. But uh, in, in most games you'll want to maybe uh, have it change at some point. So uh, that's what gravity zones are for. When I enter this zone you can see that my gravity changes, my character rotates, that's something you can you can define. Uh, slow, fast rotation or just no rotation and instant uh, gravity change. And just everything works in, in this zone. Uh, this one are um, squares but you can have circles or polygon colliders as long as it's a collider 2D and it's set as trigger it will work. Um, these gravity zones also allow you to have um, different gravity settings so for example this one has a different gravity direction but also a lower strength which means that I'm upside down but also like kind of on the moon as you can see um, gravity is really low and uh, of course these zones you can define any direction you want. So for example this one uh, has a 30 degrees I guess angle and it just works. And one last thing, um, we also have now the possibility to create gravity points. So to show you how it works it's better to go into the scene view. As you can see in this last room I have like seven platforms including new round ones and at the center of them I've placed gravity points. Gravity points are a really simple class uh, defined by a distance of effect that you can change in real time and uh, see how the how it affects the zone and if you just go into play mode and um, jump towards one you see that I'm now affected by this gravity point the way it will work is that um, your character at all times will look around for gravity points and if it finds some it will uh, check if it's uh, inside um, the, if the character is inside the area of effect of the gravity point and if it is it, it's, if it's the closest one it will affect your player which means that you can do stuff like this and go from one orbit to the other and just exit the orbit if you're fast enough. Which 
which is really fun to play with, but also uh, tricky to to tweak and, and set up. But uh, really, I, I, it took me like two minutes to set up this scene. It's just drag and drop. And yeah, that's that's that. Another thing I wanted to show you um, is uh, inside the minimal demo level, you have something called features platforms, uh, which is uh, um, should I save? Maybe. Uh, so the, the features platforms demo, it's an old one, uh, it showcases like slopes and one-way platforms, stuff like that. And I've duplicated it and called it features platforms gravity flipped. And as you can see, it's the same, but upside down. And if I press play, here I am upside down. And uh, I used that in to make sure everything just kept working. And it does. <laughs> Uh, so I can still jetpack and uh, take, you know, one-way platforms. I can go up, I can look down. I can still uh, grab um, weapons and use them. I can do jumpers. I can, uh, if I manage, I can grab um, ropes. I can use teleporters, I can swim in reverse, climb ladders, and all that. So it just works. Alright, so let's see how you can now use these gravity features in your own game. Uh, to show you that, I'm going to select this green character here. As you can see, it has a new component called character gravity. That's something you want your character to have if you want it to be uh, affected by gravity in any way, except from the default one. It's a really simple component. Uh, a few settings, you can, uh, of course, enable or disable the ability, just like the other ones. You can uh, decide whether or not it will be affected by gravity points or gravity zones. These are public, so that's something you can maybe enable during your game. You know, you get a new item and it will allow you to uh, cling to gravity points, maybe. Uh, you can decide whether or not you want the input to be reversed when uh, moving upside down, and you can change the initial gravity angle. So this one has a minus 90 gravity angle, which means that when I press play, it goes left. If I change it to something else and press play, he now goes towards a minus 49 gravity angle, which is uh, not ideal considering the, the angle that the ground is now at for him. But it works, um, and that that will be setting like its default setting for the rest of his life. That's something you can change, of course, at runtime. But um, that's something you want to do usually for a whole level. Uh, you can also define a rotation speed and inactive buffer duration, which are tweaks that you want to use uh, if you if your character will be going in and out of gravity zones. Um, be careful because if you don't set your rotation speed to zero, which is like instant rotation, you'll have to take into account the fact that your feet or your head may enter or exit the gravity zone while you're exiting or entering it, and that can lead to trouble. That's why I added the inactive buffer duration, which allows you to like disable collisions with gravity zones to allow for entry or exit. Um, gravity zones, really easy stuff to create. They're basically like the wind zones, so they are like a box collider that is set as trigger, but it can also be a poly um, polygon collider or a um, circle collider. Really any uh, 2D collider will work. And uh, to that you add a gravity zone script uh, in which you can change some control parameters, uh, like increase the gravity, stuff like that. And you can change the gravity direction angle and it will show a cyan arrow that will allow you to uh, to know how you know where where the gravity is going, and if I press play uh, and bring my white character here, I'm now you know at this weird gravity, and it's not really ideal because as you can see, uh, if I enter it, my my character has a an inactive uh, buffer zone time period that that will kind of break. Uh, in this situation, so I'm just gonna make it more 
stable, maybe like that. That's better. And of course, if you decide to have like that kind of gravity, if you set, uh, I'm gonna select my prefab here, and it's called rectangle. As you can see, I have an inactive buffer duration of uh, 0 0.1 seconds. What this means is that if your gravity zone is really small, or for some reason your character enters and exits the zone really fast, uh, like I just did, uh, it it won't register it. But if you set it to zero, that won't happen again. So I exit, and if I just try to re-enter, uh, the gravity force pushes me out, so I, I can't. Uh, same thing with the rotation speed, if I just uh, set it to zero, press play again, uh, and set my gravity to something like that, if I manage to bring my character, as you can see, now there's no rotation anymore, and that's really the safest way to do uh, gravity changes. But you have the option to, to rotate if you want. And one last thing, we have the gravity points. So uh, they are basically an empty game object with a gravity point script attached to it. I have uh, just one right here that I created uh, before. And what this one does is that if I enter it, you see that it's not ideal because I don't have a platform uh, to walk on, so I can just go and drag one here, and now, now I can walk on the platform. What's happening here is that I have on my uh, rectangle character, I have the reverse input checkbox checked, which means that when I press right, if I'm upside down, it becomes left, etc. And that's just fine when you're working on, on like flat surfaces, but if you're working on a circle, it doesn't work anymore. So what you can do is just uh, for these uh, phases in your game, you just uncheck that, and that will allow you to keep pressing right and moving right. All right, that concludes everything you need to, to know about gravity in version 4.2 of the Corgi engine. I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you next time.